Well, a recent opinion by the Kansas Court of Appeals provides a thorough explanation of property rights with respect to road ditch rights of way, as well as the common law of trespass and nuisance. Well, Roger McGowan with the Washburn School of Law joins us now for more on this. Roger, always a pleasure. I want to start with some background on this situation. I mean, we are talking about a road ditch. Yeah. Yeah, Suzanne, good to be with you. This is a matter that's been going on for a number of years out in north central Kansas, and it's really a, an awful situation. Uh, and I'll get into that a little bit more as we talk. But to, the basics of this are that you had a large farming operation that started a, an expansion to an existing hog facility. And of course, with a large scale hog operation comes manure and the need to get rid of that manure. And so instead of applying it, as the court said, to a field that he owned that was adjacent to uh, no one else that had a home nearby, he decided to uh, put it, he wanted to put it on a field two miles away via pivot irrigation. His means of doing that was to dig up the road ditch right of way across his neighbors uh, for a two mile stretch, uh, two other farmers, and put pipes in that ditch, uh, very underground pipes, two to carry water to the facility and uh, one pipe to carry the affluent back to his pivot irrigation. And uh, he started spraying that in a field 200 feet from a neighbor's home. The wind catches it, plasters it over the side of the home and plasters it over the farmer's wife. Uh, and they sue and it ends up in court. Oh my God. So I'm just that image. I mean, that's a very vivid picture there. And you know that they had to be extremely upset. So what are the courts yeah. uh, saying on this? Well, the court issued a 40 page opinion on a hog nuisance case. Uh, this is the worst egg nuisance case I've ever seen in the state of Kansas. And I think the Court of Appeals was very thorough on purpose, one, to express uh, how irritated they were that they had to deal with a situation like this, and two, to foreclose any potential thought of the defendant taking this to the Kansas Supreme Court. And the court upheld the trial court ruling in all respects, $126,700 in damages for property damage against the defendant, plus $2,000 for nuisance, plus another $50,000 in punitive damages assessed against the defendant for his conduct. Wow. A lot of people watching this right now, I mean, you know, thoughts yeah. for other farmers. When you hear a situation like this, your advice. Yeah, well, the court um, gave us some good guidance for other farmers. They did uphold property rights, uh, and you, you can't you have the right to use your property the way you want to, so long as it doesn't interfere with your neighbor's right to use their property in a reasonable manner. So be reasonable in what you do with property use. And with respect to ditches, you cannot just simply co-op the ditch. The court said that the adjacent landowner owns the ditch and there's just an easement for the public to transport things via a road uh, over that easement, but you own the ditch rights. Uh, and if he wanted to do this, the court said you can do it, but you got to get your neighbor's permissions to do this or to get the county's permission or have a state statute that allows you to do this. He didn't have any of that. And because he was in violation of state law by virtue of the trespass, he couldn't rely on the state right to farm law to protect his nuisance, the alleged nuisance activity, um, because of the trespass that caused the nuisance. So under Kansas law, you have to be in conformity with all state and local rules and regulations. And the trespass was part of state law. It's part of the common law of Kansas. And he violated that. And so the nuisance, um, the right to farm statute didn't protect him. Uh, great stuff. Thank you, Roger. As always, get permission. Roger McGowan with the Washburn School of Law. Appreciate you very much.